Hi, I'm Charmaine. Um, I head the science department. Concept formation is a common feature in our science lessons. When you form a concept, what you're actually doing is you are discovering common elements between objects and situations. And what you then do is form a generalisation. Concept formation is highly motivational because students actually get to participate actively in the lesson. So, what does a concept formation lesson look like? It has four steps. The first one is exploration. The second is the discovery phase. Third is forming a generalisation. And lastly, the students will apply the concept to a new situation. In this example, the students will put magnetic and non-magnetic objects between the magnet and the paper clip. When the students put a magnetic object between the magnet and the paper clip, the paper clip will fall onto the bench. And when the students put a non-magnetic object between the magnet and the paper clip, the paper clip remains attracted to the magnet. So then the students form this conclusion. Magnets can attract and repel through non-magnetic objects, but not magnetic ones. This question on the concept asks, if water is replaced by oil, will a magnet still be able to attract the steel disc and hence pull it out from the plastic container? The answer is yes, it will be able to do that because oil, like water, is non-magnetic in nature and hence the magnet will still be able to attract the steel disc through it. <laughs>